Welcome to Boater Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt. Today we're talking things you may not know about your VHF radio. So let's jump right in. The first thing is you could connect your easily connect your VHF radio to your GPS system with the NEMA 2000 cable in most cases look to see what um, what your requirements are but it allows the VHF to talk to the GPS unit and if you use any of the distress signals you can actually automatically send your GPS coordinates uh, with the push of a button we'll talk about that it's the maritime mobile service identity system uh, with digital selective calling so if you've ever seen that little red flip red tab that you can flip up that's spring loaded and there's a little button in there if you press that in a distress situation it will send your mmsi information to the coast guards and all vessels on channel 16 that are in the area now here's the thing it's a digital text message which has a much much longer range so it gets that information. It's going to have your vessel information, your contact information, your emergency contact information. And if you connect that NEMA cable, it will also send your GPS coordinates. Now, you do have to set up your MMSI number. If you haven't done that, go watch my video on the MMSI identity, how to set it up. Um, and you can just, I'll link that right here, but check that out after you watch the rest of this video. Next, you have the channels. Now, for some boaters, this is second nature, but for others, you may not know there's certain channels for certain things. Channel 16, the channel that you monitor all the time. If you're not doing anything else, you're required to monitor channel 16. If somebody else has an emergency, that's the channel. If you have an emergency, hit that DCS uh, button. Uh, if it's a, a serious emergency, call channel 16 and you're gonna hail for help. It's also the hailing channel. If you're calling somebody else, you're calling your friend or you're communicating with another vessel that's in your area about um, safe passage, you'll hail them on 16. Hey, southbound um, southbound vessel at mile marker such and such on this body of water, on this mile marker, on this uh, whatever, uh, go to, and you're gonna send them to a pleasure boater communication channel, which is 68, 69, 71, and 72. You're gonna say, hey, catch me over there. They're gonna say, got it, whatever your call sign is, meet you on 71. You're gonna bolt switch to channel 71, and that's where you're gonna have your communication. That's where you're gonna have your dialogue. Remember, 16 is for emergencies and for hailing. Hailing is a quick, hey, here's something, go here and I'll give you the details. Um, you go to 68, 71, 69, 72, and that's where you have your conversation back and forth. Remember, it's public airways. Everybody can hear it. Be quick and concise and clear in your communication. Once you are out, then you're going to switch back to 16. 13 and 67 are navigation channels, and you can look at all of the other. Channel 70 is where your DCS messages are sent. That's where those uh, MMSI information is sent via that channel. Um, and you can just pause here and read through the other ones. Now, you may have seen that squelch button or knob on your VHF radio. And, um, hey, what does it do exactly? Well, here's how to use it properly. If you want to have... Hey, I just want to hear signals that are close to me and I want to hear it more clearly. So I can't make out somebody that I'm talking with. You're going to turn your squelch up a little bit and that's going to take you to, we're going to bring in just the stronger signals that we can hear more clearly. If you're trying to, to hear somebody that's far away, you're monitoring it. You can turn that squelch way down and that's going to allow you to hear the weaker signals that are further away. And it, it may give you more static, but if you're, if you're trying to communicate with somebody that's a longer distance away and you can't hear their response turn that squelch down deal with that kind of staticky for a little bit but you may be able to pick up their signal with that and then turn that squelch back up to kind of narrow in your your field and that's going to make everything more clear that's what the squelch does if you're in an emergency, we talk about this in the Boater Boot Camp, uh, which is totally free. You can check that out. Um, mayday, Mayday, Mayday is for life-threatening emergencies. Um, pon Pon, Pon Pon, Pon Pon is the call if it's a non-life-threatening emergency. Now, what can happen is you can be a Pon Pon level. You know, let's say somebody gets injured um, the, you know, the boat's taken on water, but so far your pumps are keeping up with it. Uh, you've run aground and, you know, you're trying to sort out the issue, but you know, there's an emergency, but it's not life threatening yet. And then if it goes that up, you know, man, the boat's going down. We can't, the pumps can't keep up the, somebody's injury has, has in, 
has gotten worse, then you would call with Mayday, 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 and that's going to be for life-threatening emergencies. So it's very quickly you can identify, is this a, a big problem or is this an enormous life-threatening problem, okay? The next is you want to make sure that you understand the VHF radio is not a toy. It is a serious tool of safety. You have um, merchant marines. You've got the, the Coast Guard, the Navy are using this. Others that are that are doing real work are using this. People are using this to save lives, and there's penalties if you are if you're using a mayday or calling a pon pon or, or making a, a communication on the radio that doesn't fit the FCC's guidelines. It can be up to six years in prison, two hundred fifty thousand dollar fine. If the Coast Guard does, you call a, a fake emergency and the Coast Guard rallies their their cutter and sends out the helo. There can be a five thousand dollars civil penalty, and you have to reimburse them for the the search and rescue expense. There's a recent story of a guy off the coast of North Carolina that had a forty five thousand um, dollar reimbursement charge because he called a fake mayday, um, and uh, they were able to to track him down with um, by using the radio signals of what towers he bounced off of. They were able to track it down to him. $45,000 penalty. Don't do it. It's for serious use. Don't let your kids get on the radio and start chit-chatting like they're walkie-talkies. They're not. They're serious emergency tools. If you need to do a radio check, hey, you're going offshore. Before you go, you want to make sure your radio's good, make sure it's it's ready to go. You don't want to do it on 16 or 9. You can hail somebody for a radio check on you know whatever channel, 68, 69, 71, 72, or 78A. Say, hey, doing a radio check in such and such a marina on channel 68. Um, you go to channel 68, radio check, radio check, radio check. And then if there's somebody on that channel, then they'll response back, you know, uh, radio check, good, radio check confirmed. Uh, also, in some of the more popular boating areas, CETO and Boat US will have a designated channel where they'll monitor for radio checks, and they'll they'll respond back. It's different in different locations, so I can't give you that, uh, but you should be able to look that up for your radio checks to make sure your radio is transmitting properly and receiving back properly. Uh, but again, not something to be done on 16 or 9. You can hail them and let them know you're doing a radio check, but that is not an emergency situation. It's a hailing use, um, so make sure you keep that channel clear for real emergencies. I mentioned the boater boot camp. It's totally free. If you're a newer boater and you just don't know what you don't know, go check that out, boaterbootcamp.com. If you're looking to buy a boat, you can grab the Boat Buyer's Toolkit for free, boatbuyersecretweapon.com slash toolkit. We've got the best boat captain on the water. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you haven't set up your MMSI number, go check out that video. And remember, life truly is better on a boat.